This video contains 12 jail calls made by Alec Murdoch. The conversations are between his son Buster, his brother John Marvin, his sister-in-law Liz, his brother Randy, and his sister Lynn. Take a listen. It must be some chemical in the damn air or something. I don't know what it is. Man, I think I get away from the blankets and go away. Your party has answered. Hey. hey. Can you Hello, hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Am I catching you at a bad time? Buster said you were downstairs. Yep, I'm just doing my Peloton exercise. Have you exercised me, today? Huh? Have you exercised today? Not yet, I haven't. But I tell you this, I did so hard over the weekend, and yesterday, um, my, my knee started hurting really bad, and so I hadn't done it yet today. I've been waiting. But, I mean, I've been doing them um, mountain climbers every day. You have? Yes, I That's have. awesome. Huh? Well, um, do they have a little weight room or anything for y'all? No, <laughs> 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 they don't have no little weight room for us. That, they might have one. They got a weight room in the, in, the, in the prison, in the jail. They got one out there that some people can use, but we can't use it. Well, did you find the library? Mm, no, and they might found the library yet either. Um, I did get a letter that said that the book, you know, is considered contraband. So they well, would um, not allow it. I don't think that's the one that I sent. I'm not sure. Did it say who sent it to you? No, but it said it came from Amazon. Oh, really? Well, I talked to the lady. I guess that was on Monday. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, I guess it was just yesterday. Um, and she said that she would, because I told her, I was like, look, there's going to be a book coming. Is there any way that you can just donate it to the library? for Alec to be able to read it and whoever else wants to read it. So I'll find out, but I'd like to say, I don't, I'll don't. i ask. I don't think, I, ain't nobody in here I know been to the library, but I'll see if they'll let, let you go. I don't think I don't think they'll let me go. See, they don't let me do much. They, 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 and I mean, I think they think it's for my own good, you know, uh, um, as far as, you know, I'm not around everybody. I'm only around, I got you. you know, a smaller group of people. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, um, Lizzie, I got your letter um, Saturday, but we were on lockdown and not allowed to use the phone, so just I wasn't able to call. And um, anyway. They won't. They only have visitation on certain days. Thursday's not one of them, and I have to put in ahead of time, you know. And it's only video, you know. And I tell you this: there's another thing. These guys tell me there's a machine. That machine over there, you can have a video call, right? I gotta get emails. Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you send me a letter with everybody's email address? You know, um, I really, yours and Buster's and John Marvin's can send it to me first, but rather than having to do another one, just send me everybody's email. And there's a machine that we can have video calls without having mm -hmm. to come here to do a video call. I oh, have, okay. So I've got to like figure me. out how to work the machine and how to pay for it and all that. Okay, so... um. What emails do you want me to send? I got a pencil handy. Just yours and Buster's and John's and maybe Brooklyn's and um um I gotta figure out how it works. Um Okay. So and I 
I, I was going to send you a letter, too. I sent Buster a letter and Grandma a letter, but I, I don't have much paper, but I'm getting more paper, so I'll send you a letter. You're at the top of my list to send a letter, but I had to send it to Buster, and I hadn't talked to Grandma and him in, you know, five weeks. So I promise you, you and Liza Grace and Mary Marvin are at the top of my list, and your mom sent me a nice letter. Did you know that? Well, that my mom sent one? A very nice letter. She told me that she was going to do that, and um, Sam Griffin texted me last night to say that um, he was FedExing that letter that you gave to him for Buster and that it should be getting here today. And then he also has saved all the images that were on my computer to lip drive, so we'll keep that in a safe spot too. That's a deal. So he's, yeah. he's sending all that to me. But um, did Buster tell you that I'm going to Greenville this weekend? Yeah, he did. Well, um, I mean, I would love to swing by either on Saturday or Monday on, you know, the, the one day or coming back. I got to find you, out. Um, you have to put in, like, a week ahead of time. Don't you have to put in a week ahead of time for visitation? So, like, on on Friday, all right, on Friday, they'll ask if you got somebody visiting, and you can only visit on Friday or Saturday. Um, so, I promise, Liz, it, it don't go out of your way for a, you know, I mean, it'd be just a phone call where, I mean, you'd be in a whole different place. So, is that still how you have to see Jim? Or did they let you see him face to face? person visits now, is it? It's all video. So you would come all into, a, like, the front of the jail, and you would sit down mm -hmm. at a little video telephone thing they have, like, you, in these rooms, all right? So, like, and, I mean, I've had one or two with Jim. Most of them, and my visits have been in person, but every now and then, like, on lockdown, they have to do it by telephone. So you sit down at a at a telephone with a little camera and I'm all the way in where I'm at and you know so you wouldn't get to really visit We, you know what I'm saying yeah and if I can get this video thing set up and figure this out then um, you know but I'll, call, I'll talk to you on Friday and see when we get these forms and, and if I don't have it figured out by then I just I don't want you going out of your way and not going to be able to set it up for this Friday, I mean, this, this Saturday or Monday. You see what I'm saying? On Friday, yeah. I'll get a piece of paper where I can set it up for the next Friday. It's Friday or Saturday, right? It's next Friday or Saturday. You see what so I'm saying? So is that just a guard? Yeah. Is that just a guard that stands there next to you that you can ask questions to? No, I got another in. There's somebody in my pod. Uh, well, um, what was I going to ask you? I was just on my mind. Everything right. Lizzie, will you do me a favor? Mm hmm Will you see to it that flowers get out? Yeah, in fact, my mom um, texted me about that this morning. So, because she wanted to send some to Kennedy, too. Um, so I need to figure out with Buster where she's going to be that she can get some. But, yeah, I'll definitely I mean, for Maggie that. Ball. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know. I knew which one. But, yes, I'll, um, I'll see to it if that's done. And, um, and then my mom will handle some for, for Kennedy. All right. I'll call you soon. There ain't no place to be like this. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. Well, um. Love you. I'm excited. I'm excited about that gag order. Oh yeah, Jim and Dick told you about that. No, it's it's already huh? online, but it's already online. Oh, it is. Yeah. All right. Um, but it made me happy. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, he uh, he they tell me he's been running his mouth. Yeah, just ruthlessly. Huh? Ruthlessly. 
it's just kind of like venom, like he's a snake spitting out venom every every other word. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll have to see all that and hear all that. Well, there's nothing we can't handle. Love you. Well, I'm excited that you're doing these mountain climbers. Yeah, I man, I'm telling you, with. I, can, I can already tell. I've, I've been doing them now for, this is like my 11th day. I started on a Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So this is my third, 12th day. This is my 12th day. Well, I, mean, um, I can already tell a difference in my legs, for sure. I'm not, I've got a I've got to start doing more on my arms because, you know, you eat all this junk food because the food's so bad, you know, and the food's terrible. And so you eat this junk food, you know, well, it doesn't, um, take, doesn't take long. Hey, and tell me, I'm going to call, call him um, some things we got to figure out and, um, I appreciate everything you doing, Lizzie, more than you know. Make make Buster show you the letter. I mean, it you know. Oh, the one you you mailed him. Yeah. Okay. All right, I will. I'm sure and, uh, we'll probably be getting them the next little bit. It, um, They're usually here. I mean, you know, every one of these phone calls is recorded, and you know that you know that um. They're listening to them. Yeah. Well, I knew that they were recorded. I didn't know if they really care to listen to. I promise, talk you, about. They're li- promise you they're listening to mine. Well, uh, I right. can just I know that we, we... I appreciate <laughs> everything, and you give the kids big hugs for me. I'm going to try. All right, so y'all are going to be at Greenfield on Thursday? Yes. So no. is that where everybody's coming to y'all's place? Um, no, we're going to go to Elm's house at 1 o'clock for, um, dinner. And, so Buster's um, not going to be there. Right, he's going to be in Charleston, but then he's spending Thursday night with us. And then there's that quail hunt on Friday that your mom is going to do well, at Greenfield. That sounds fun. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking and, and you know, just about... All oh, taking all these pills and how that all started and you know just I mean there's no doubt when I started taking them that I you know what I'll wait till I get out and tell you all this there's things I remember now that you know that I mean this just goes back 20 years no this goes yeah. back this goes back 23 years but I know Maggie told you she had a real hard time when we moved to Hampton. Yeah. And why? Yeah, I know what you're trying to say. That's generating some bitter damn feelings. Oh, and you, you, that's that's understandable, and it's um, it's it's just part part of it to work work through it. I mean, I have the same feeling, so don't think that it's exclusively you. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll I, talk about it. Hopefully, when I get out of here, and so hopefully, hopefully, if things go right, I'll get out of here, and then I'll go get some more treatment. And then I'll get out for a little while before I have to go deal with everything. So we'll talk. I love you more than you'll ever know. Well, I love you so much, and um. I'm going to finish my workout with some mountain climbers in your honor. <laughs> Thank you for putting flowers out for me. Yes, I'll definitely get that done um, probably tomorrow or the next day when I head that way. All right. Well, that sounds real good, and I sure I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You have one minute mm-hmm. remaining. We've taken up the whole call. It must be, what, you get 15 minutes? So... All right, I love you. All right, it was 15 minutes of my best part of my day. Yeah.
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. My uh, car is switching back and forth, so I'm on my way back home. Where you been? I went over to Hampton. Um, Betty Ruth passed away, and um, and they had her visitation tonight. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she's um, you know, she's not been doing well for a while, but um, Eileen actually asked me to tell you um that I don't know a day or two ago, um, she was talking and she said, you know, I love all those Murdochs and you know was talking about Daddy and all of that. And um and said, you know, she she knew you had done some stuff you weren't supposed to, but you were a good person and had a good heart. Well, that's nice to say. Yep. Aline, Aline yep. and Sam still fighting? Um, you know, I think they have kind of come to a a truce where they don't don't do it actively, but, but I don't think they've made up. You know how that goes. Yeah. Did you see Mama? I don't know. Um, I did not see Mama. Um, I left, didn't leave the courthouse until 5.30, and so it was 6.30 by the time I got to the funeral home. And um, and I checked in, and she was getting ready for bed, and I felt like that would be more disruptive than, you know, in sort of the short period of time I could stay. Yeah, she's still the same. About, you know, not any better, not any worse. So, so um, she has her good days and her bad days. Does she still remembers, you know, I mean, y'all she sometimes? She does, you know, sometimes, um, I think, sometimes I think she, she doesn't when we first come in, but then as we talk to her and, and call her mama and talk about things, then she starts picking up and, um, you know, starts remembering a little bit, or, you know, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's my wishful thinking, but I swear I think she knows who we are some of the time, so... Yeah. Well, everybody else is doing good? Everybody's doing good. Reeves is um, getting her dog tomorrow. She's, <laughs> um, she's been walking for a while. <laughs> she's getting a puppy, so we're we're picking that up tomorrow. What kind of puppy? It's a standard poodle. It's oh, a, um, a red a red color standard poodle, and she says, I am not doing those little pom-pom things. It's going to be natural. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame her, but it's still a damn poodle. You know, we had a Labrapoodle yeah. or Labradoodle or whatever you call it. Something, yeah. I, re- I remember you had one. I don't know that I ever saw it, but... Um, yeah. Good, he's good. Yeah. He's hunting Thanksgiving? Yeah, he's hunting. Um, in fact, Mills' boyfriend is coming down tomorrow, and then he's going to take them hunting tomorrow afternoon. Um, sure. And then I think Randy's got a bunch of bunch of the family going up to his place at Allendale. Yeah. Um, and hunting up there, if they, you know, anybody who wanted to hunt, so not doing anything special, just going to hunt. So, ten to what Lizzie told me um, last week that y'all are going to um, M's about one o'clock. Yep, gonna try to eat about one o'clock, and um, you know how that goes. It'll probably be two before we get around to it, but um, we'll see what if we can I do. If I can, I'll try to give y'all a call. That'd be good. That'd be good. Just get us, you know, call one of us and we can put you on the phone or whatever. Did Bus text you? He has not texted me. Um, but now he he's call not me I, When I couldn't call y'all this weekend, I mean, I, I I called him for like 40, 50 seconds and he was supposed to call you and Randy and text you and Randy. He didn't? No, he didn't. Um, now, John Marvin told me that that you had called Buster and talked to him for a second, but um, for not very long. But so John Marvin told me that you had called, but not you well, know. It's okay, I couldn't call, and that I'd give y'all a call when gotcha. I could. Gotcha. But I figure I figure you go through periods where they where you have access to the phone and somewhere you don't. So that's right. That's exactly right. Kind of come to kind of come to expect that. But um, Liz and I have been trying to do some more research. She probably talked to you a little bit about this today. If you talked, because I think you talked to her sometime today. 
Yeah, she said um, something. And I got to talk to her for a little while. She said something about um, trying to figure out about books. If you donated it to the library, could they get it? Somebody right. tried to send me a book, and I got a notice that said somebody tried to send it's you a book. It's, yeah. it's contraband. If they don't pick it up, it's going to be destroyed. But I figured it would be. Yeah, Liz, Liz said she was going to try it and see if they would let it through. She did that that first day you called us about yeah. that. We were kind of trying to see what they were going to allow. But they apparently have a library there um, that, ha that all of y'all have access to. I don't know what they got in it and what they don't. Um, but we've also found out that we might be able to donate books to it if they don't have anything you like. But you've got to figure out how to get to it. Yeah, all right. right. I'll, I'll try to figure that out. And I don't, I don't know, because they're keeping you kind of, it's like the medical wing or something, right? Yeah, but, I mean. It's not in the regular. No, I mean, um, they changed my classification, so I'm not in mm. Excel all the time. Well, that's good. You, you've got to get out and be able to do something. I mean, it's like you go, three hours. And I, I can't, I can't imagine. Not having anything to read, not having a, a well, game to play or one, anything. This old trustee, one-legged dude named Clarence, he puts yeah. himself around on a wheelchair. He's been helping me get books and all so, but he, they buy oh, good. Out. So yeah, oh, I'm sure. I mean, I've read, 15, I've read fifteen. One, but... I bet I've read fifteen, eighteen books in short order. Yeah, I, I can imagine. That's the only thing you got to do, really. Well, I started exercising too, so I, I'm on my good. I'm on my eleventh day, and I mean I can already tell a difference. So I can yeah. already tell a difference. So that's good, and I'm doing more and that's more good. each day. Yeah, uh, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. At least it'll keep you in in semi decent shape because I I know the food's not good. You said you were eating snacks too much, but no, uh, the food. I've been trying to quit eating because. I mean, you know. The, but you got to have something that's decent. I mean, you you got to have something that has some flavor. Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't know how bad this food is. <laughs> I'm seeing things well, like can, it. Hey, you think hospital food's bad? I'm telling you now. I would I would damn go to Richmond. The hospital uh, food's good, huh? <laughs> for three, three, three squares a day. So, oh, man. I, I, can, uh, I can't imagine. Cause they don't put any effort into it. <laughs> nah, not much, it's, that's for sure. That's for yeah, sure, but it is. That's all right. I can handle it. Yeah. All right, well, I'll um, I'll be in touch soon. I, I hope to call you all on Wednesday. Okay, Thursday, yeah. That's what I mean. Day after tomorrow. Yeah, day after tomorrow. And, uh, and try to find out about the library. It's got to be there, and it, they wouldn't have it if they weren't going to let you use it, I would think. So I don't know. I don't know how you find that out. I'm gonna ask. I mean, you know, I don't ever ask. Yeah. I don't. I don't ask for nothing. I don't. You know. I mean. Yeah. I, I don't. I just try to. You know. You go along. Keep your head with. down. I get. And I get that. But um, I don't know. Maybe ask somebody. Hey, I hear there might I mean, be a library. And yeah. I mean, the guards would know. And I mean, some. I mean, I ask some of the people, but I mean, they don't know how you get yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right, we'll figure that right. out. Love you. Tell everybody hello, and I'll talk to you soon. I sure will. Love you, Alec. Love you, bye. All right, bye-bye. Alec? -bye. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I'm good. I, I was just Googling something for you. What's that? I was trying to, um, well, I was trying to find, like, a list of exercises that you could do. That'd be good. Um, you could do in closed space. Yeah, and I found something that's awesome, but it's like 27 pages long. Um, that like kind of describes all the exercises. And I just I don't know if they'll let me send something that big. Do you know? Have you I been able know. to receive? I imagine if I mean if it's paper, I bet they will. But I well, know. it 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 would be paper. Um, and so, hey, I don't have but a second. I'll, 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 I'll okay. buzz you later. But is Buster staying with y'all? 
He is at the farm. I'm in Okatee. Okay, so he stayed up there with John Marlin? Yeah. Um, will you do me a favor? Will you make sure that Grandma and Mary know you're putting out flowers so they won't worry about it? Mm hmm Yeah, I actually um, was going to send some to Grandma, too. So, um, and I have a call. I've got to call her today. She called me back last night when I was putting the kids down. And um, I'm going to figure out where she's going to be. And so I may end up sending it sending some flowers to her after Thanksgiving. I just don't want her to worry about them not being here. Yeah. No, I'll um I'll 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 call her back actually right now and, and let her know that I'll take and care of that. Thank you so much for everything. I love you. I'll I'll call you soon. Okay, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> nah. Hey bud. Hey man. Only How you one doing? that answered my damn phone call. Well I Buster's out here unloading his car. He probably left the phone inside. I got you. I just, where are y'all? We're at Greenfield. I just got I, back. I was in my office this morning. I got you. Um, yeah. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, I got some papers that I've got to read um, about this account. Yep. That Dick and Jim brought me to help educate me, to help us make a decision. And... Um, sometime either Friday or Saturday or even Sunday or even Monday morning, I need you to be able to discuss with me in detail that letter that you got saying there was changes. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it didn't say there were changes. It just said something along the lines there was a request. But I will. Um, I'll let you know. All right. So you, but you'll get that. And, I mean. It, it, any, any, we can do it any time before next week or the beginning of the next week. I mean, I had a good conversation with Dick and Jim, um, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, so so there's a couple of concerns that I have. One being that if you try to... If you access it, that, 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 that makes it... A yeah, well, order. I don't... Well, I don't think you can access it out of the account that it's in now. I think okay. you can access all of it or none of it. Yeah, yeah no. you can access either all or none. And um, and but and if you roll it over, for instance, to Ronnie, in into that, then there's question whether it exposes it the whole thing to the receivers. So if you try to roll it to Ronnie where you can roll write one check for a smaller amount, yeah. this question is that rollover opens the door to the receiver. And Vic and Jim are getting um, opinions to, to, you know, help figure it out from, from lawyers who specialize in that. Okay, and that's, I think that's probably the smartest thing to do. And they're going to um, get it. We, we just can't open, right. that, we can't open that account up to... You can't let it open up to the creditors. I understand that. Yeah. So, all right. Well, what y'all doing now? Y'all at Greenfield? Yeah. 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 Uh, Betty Ruth Cruz passed away. Yeah, I heard. And, Her funeral's uh, today. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that. Um, I'm gonna just go briefly and try to get out of there. Lynn told me she um, went to the visitation last night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Tell Eileen and Sam, I sure am sorry. Yeah, Wish I'll I could be there. No doubt. I hate going to funerals. I'd sure like to be able to go. No, I know what you mean. Huh. I know what you mean. Uh, you. Any, any any news or anything, you know, they told me about the, the, the new indictments, but I think all that was to be expected. Yeah, they told me about that. I mean, truthfully, they that. I mean, I understand what they're doing, and I get it. But I mean, you know, they just—he's—he's, he's, um, you know, he's making. They're just stacking it on. He's making yeah. as many charges as he can to say he ain't taking it easy on me. So, That's right. But it is what it is. So, um, no, everything, uh, you know, everything's okay. Just, uh, I'm, I'm up to exercising an hour a day. Lizzie gave me some good exercises to do. I, I do five sets of mountain, five sets of 25 mountain climbers, four steps each, and 
five sets of up downs and it damn near kills me and five sets of push ups it takes me about an hour and five minutes. Right. I've had I've had my cold shower and my bologna sandwich for lunch. So I'm good you. to go. Well, I, and I, she told you um, I had her put 125 or 30 dollars on your account the other day. I saw that. The most I can spend a week is 60 dollars. And so basically, every every two weeks, we need to make sure we're at 120 bucks or so. And um, and um, you see, the problem is, see, I explained this to Buster. The canteen is not like a canteen that you walk to and put it out of the vending machine. All right, this is a company. You go on a kiosk and you place an order, and you have to place an order by a deadline. And then Monday they bring you a bag with everything you ordered. I got you. See what I'm saying? So you get canteen once a week. I see. You have to order it. You know, like usually you have to order it by Tuesday night. But see, like one day, this you know. One day, they keep this place so cold, this medical dorm, like I had to order a thermal top and bottom and, you know, some socks and a couple of T-shirts, and that was 30-something dollars. I got you. You know, so um, anyway. Um, well, just keep it like when you, get, when you get down to 60 bucks or so remaining, with plenty of time left, just let me know, and I'll just continue to keep adding. That's the deal. You keeping up with all this money you're giving me, right? Um, no, not really. But well, keep up with it, now, John Marmon, because yeah, it's going to add it's up. It's all good, though. No, nah, it's going to add up now. I, I, I want you to keep up with it. No, yeah, it's all good, man. I promise sure. you. Um, um, it, hey, is Lizzie coming to Greenfield today? Uh, tonight. What? Tonight she is. When is Buster going to Charleston? He's leaving in about 30 minutes. Did he? Can I speak to him real quick? Yeah, he's back inside. Hang on. Let me get him. Hang on just a second. Hello? Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry I missed your call. I was fooling with stuff out here at Greenfield and had my phone plugged up and didn't have it with me. That's okay. I figured y'all were having a good time last night and might be sleeping in. Did you come up last night? Sir? Did you come up last night? Yeah, but I'm about to leave now again. Who came with you, the kids? Just John and uh, Mary Marvin, and then um, and then Mary and, and Doc were here. I got you. Did you get my letter? I did. I did get your letter. I appreciate you writing that. How'd you, how'd you get it already? I got it yesterday. Well, because you gave it to Jim, and Jim overnighted it. So he overnighted it on Monday. Yeah, and I got it yesterday. Oh. Well, I put some, I couldn't think of everything. I, I I put some stuff in yours that I didn't put in Grandma and Papa T's, and obviously yours. Well, I mean, well, I figured. I mean, I'm your son. What? I said I figured. I mean... I figured ours would be a little bit more personal. It is. Um, but I, mean, I tell you I what I found. What? what? Go ahead. I said I don't mind you sharing with them whatever you want to, and whatever you don't, you don't. Whatever you do, you do. Well, um, I tell you what I found interesting, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to brush over the other stuff, but um, those books that you read are my um, are my favorite books. Joe Dillard? Joe Pickett. Oh, Joe Pickett, the game warden? C.J. Bob? Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. I've read all of them. No joke. Yeah, I swear. I've read Actually, Winter, I've read I told, Winter I, Kill, Savage I, Run. I didn't, know if you, I didn't know if you remember, but I mean, I told you about reading those books a while ago. I, 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 I didn't remember that. That's, um, that's who that author is. I did not remember that, but I've read Savage Run, Winter Kill. Um, I read the one where he's working for the governor and um, and, and his friend Nate is killing yeah, the people. Yeah, the, um, the the Falcon guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read like four of them. I've got two more to read right now. I'm reading this thing. These Joe Dillard. This um, you ought to read those. Those good. are all right. They they like reading, you know. Um, but I think those are good. I think I think that piece a good author. 
Yeah, I think you're good too. But uh, you're proud of me. I've been I've been doing good on exercise, and I'm up to about an hour a day. Well, good. I do five sets of up downs, ten each, with twelve steps, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, running in place, and then hit the yeah. ground and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hit the ground and come up. I do five sets of ten of those, and then I do five sets of 25 mountain climbers, like 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3. I do five sets of 25 of those, and I mean, it damn near kills me. And then I started trying to do push-ups, too. Right. Uh, might better cut your ass when I get out of here. Maybe, because I haven't done anything as far as physically. All right, well. So, all right, you getting ready to go to Charleston? No, I gotta go to Columbia first. Ten four. Um, I was getting ready to ask you something, Buster. Yeah. I know I put a lot on you, and I don't. I don't want to keep adding stuff to you, but. What? I, w- I want to get somebody to reach out to a couple of Paul's friends. Okay. Who would you like to reach out to? Do you want to do that or you want me to get somebody else to? I mean, I can do it. I, um, you just tell me who. I talked to Will Levin the other day. What's he up to? Uh, nothing, man. He just, he just called and said he was checking in. We we'll talked for a minute. That was good. I'll let you know. I'll give you, what? Who are the people you want me to talk to? I'll, I'll, I'll get you a list. I'll let you know. Why don't um, Why don't you just write me another letter and, and put the people in that? Unless writing letters are too too difficult to get sent out. Well, um, I'll let you know. Either I'll either do that or I'll let you know on here where you have a time, when you have time and have a pen to write it down. But okay. I don't want to bother you with it if you aren't going to have time to do it. Like, And I'm not fussing at you, but, like, it was important to me to let Lynn and Randy know, and Lynn, they told me you didn't call them or text them. And I know you don't have time. You just got to let me know when you don't have time to do something I ask you to do. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not a matter of time. I just, you know, just forget sometimes. Well, and I understand that, too. I definitely do. So, I mean, don't don't let it worry you. You know, you know how much you've done. Um, so, what are you going to Columbia first for? I got to get medicine and some stuff out of my plug. I got you. All right. Well, I won't hold you up. I'll let you get on the road. Um, so, I'll get you a list. I just want you to reach out to some of those boys and tell them I was thinking about them. Okay, I can do that. Hello. So you going to Columbia now? Yeah, I'm about to get in my car and take off. Oh, right this minute? Well, not right this minute, like within the next 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, I wrote Grandma and Papa T a sort of long letter, not as long as yours. Um, and I, I, and I, can, I can confirm that they, that they did get that. They've already gotten theirs. They did? Yeah. And I'll leave it up to you. You share that, that letter is yours. You can share whatever you want to share. Don't share what you don't want to share. Okay. Out of your letter. Ten four. And I sent Marion and Bart just a short letter because I figured Grandma could share the longer letter with them if she wanted to. All but right. Just, just to say hello to the proctors. Okay. So, um... Are they good? Yeah, they're good. All right. So where do they stand in all this? Man, I haven't talked to them exclusively about any of that. Ten for they um, you know, I mean, I think they're. You have yeah, I think one most minute remaining. I think most people are empathetic. I understand. Uh, um. You- 
Go ahead. Crap, say, Buster, I make, I'm going to try to call you tomorrow to see if I can get an account set up with um, Grandma and maybe one of the proctors. Okay. All right, it just depends on, um, you know, I ain't sure if the proctors want me to call them. Um, or whatnot, but I'll um I'll figure it out. You'll be with them around lunchtime? Yeah. Are you going to Charleston tonight? Yes. Your time is up. Hey Bo. Hey man, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing I good. figured you're probably going to a hunt right now. <laughs> No, no, man. You know, Baby Ruth Cruz died. I don't know if you know that. Oh, yeah. You know what? I forgot about that. I did know that. I did know that. The few, what time is the funeral? Two o'clock. Are you getting ready to go to that? Well, I'm going to be going shortly. I'm at the office right now. Um, I'm just grabbing a, a, a snack downstairs. But I'm, I'm walking up the stairs now. Everything uh, else going okay? Yeah, yeah everything's good. Just um, Bo been on the phone this morning with... Amy Hill, the attorney for the receivers, you know, dealing with all their all their stuff. So it just seems like there's one thing after another with you know with all that. But but that's all good. Um, it's not it's not any issues really. So what Today do you, think, issue, what do you just, think about that receiver order? I think it's bullshit, but I mean I don't know I don't know much about receivers and how they work, but. They're basically acting like a bankruptcy trustee, aren't they? That's exactly right. I mean, that's what it seems like. It seems like it's it's the same effect as being in bankruptcy, but without the without the protection of self bankruptcy. Jim and Dick tell you know? me that it's the absolute most terrible order that they've ever seen. I don't know if they're just telling me that, but I mean, they say it's absolutely, you know. But I mean, I get I'm easy to rule against right now, you know. Well, unfortunately, that's true. I mean, you know, that really is true. But I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, you know, I don't know what criteria have to be met for someone to have a receiver appointed for them. You know? I mean, it just doesn't It doesn't make sense to me. There's supposed to be a judgment. But, you know, just think about this. You got a case against... A trucking company with real bad damages put them in receivership. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. So how about so how about somebody that has a um, a claim for a Roundup? You know, getting getting uh, cancer for Roundup, Lymphoma. and you say, well, Monsanto's going to go under because everybody's going to start filing all these claims, and there's no way they can afford. But yeah, they're doing good right now. Is that is that one of those ones? You know. So I don't know, man. That doesn't make sense to me. But in the end, man, I I don't know. But anyway, how you doing? I'm doing all right. You be proud of me. I've been exercising more and more. I'm up to an hour a day. Well, good. I, I can tell the difference. I mean, I've been doing it now for about twelve, ten, eleven, twelve days. I mean, I can tell the difference. Do they have, um, like, facilities where you can do that? I mean... Nah, they might, but I, I, I don't get to go there. Um, you're just doing stuff in your room, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But I did my... I, I, I got them to change my status where at least I'm not in yeah, there I talked to, as I much to, anymore. So, but I talked to Jim about that. He did? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Buster was yeah. supposed to give y'all, you and Lynn, a call, and he forgot because I couldn't call y'all this weekend because it was on lockdown. And and then Monday, um, it was on Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning was on lockdown, so I couldn't call. But I'm in a classification now where I should get more access to the phone. Right, right. Thinking Jim a word, I'm going to get shivved. But What's that mean? Stuck. That's what they call it, you know, in the pokey when somebody sticks you. 
with a knife. I mean, are there people there that have some reason to get, to have animosities toward you? Uh, you know, I don't. I mean, I don't think so. But just because there's been so much publicity and so much, you know, thing and and talk about me being a prosecutor and all that. So you know, they worried somebody in here might want to, you know, make a statement. Mhm. Mm but I tried to tell Jim and Jim and Dick I used to be a pretty bad dude. I'm kind of soft now, but I think I can take most of the people in this medical ward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good I do out in the general population, but I think I can take most yeah. of them around here. Well, I mean, I hate even thinking about that, you know. No, nah, it ain't no worries about. It really isn't. It ain't anything like that. I mean, these people. I mean, most of the ones I'm around, there's no, no trouble at all. I mean, that's really just a joke. What are the people in the medical ward for? I mean, they have true medical conditions, or are there a way to keep people segregated from the other folks? Both. The people who are what they call PC are in here. You know, like. Um, I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe somebody testifying against somebody, somebody rolling on a drug dealer. Um, they keep some of those in here, I think. I don't know that for a fact. But then, you know, other people got, like, I don't know. Uh, one dude's got bronchitis. Right. Um, some just, people do know, have. A couple dudes in a wheelchair. Like, there's one dude, there's, there's a one-legged dude. In a wheelchair, but he can use his good leg to wheel himself around really fast. He's an old guy. His name is Clay. Right. He's kind of like, you know, he's a trustee. He's kind of like, I don't know, he, he really tries to help everybody. He's the one that's been getting me books. I got you, yeah. Uh, um, I mean, you know, it is no problems, I promise you. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, too, um, Lynn just sent me a link. I asked her to send it to me, but she sent me a link so I can put money. A link for what? So I can put money on your canteen account. Apparently it's getting low again. Well, no, John just put some on there. John just did it. Uh, uh, yeah. He, he, just, he just did it. See, canteen, I explained to John and um, Buster. I explained to John just a, a little bit ago. I couldn't get you. I couldn't get Buster. And... um. I told John he's the only one with answer. But anyway, so canteen isn't like you walk down to the vending machines and, and, and you get canteen. So there's a company and there's a kiosk. And you go to the kiosk and you, I mean, they got all kinds of stuff like hygiene items, t shirts, socks, thermal underwear, you know, then, um, you know, just like, just look, anything you can think of, really. Um, and then, like, snacks and stuff like that. And you place an order once a week. You have the deadline by Tuesday night, and then they bring it to you Monday morning. So you order right. it Tuesday, and then the following Monday they bring you a bag or whatever you order. And the most you, you know, you max out at $60. And like the right. clothes, I had to order the thermal top because they keep it cold in here. And sometimes at night, you know, um, I mean, it gets cold. Like the right. thermal top and a thermal bottom and, you know, a couple of clean T-shirts and a couple of clean tube socks. Shit cost me $30, $32 or something like that. Right, right. So... But I don't have to get clothes every time, you know. Right, that's right. I know what you're saying. So now I, um, I have some thermal bottoms. I have a 3x thermal top that's a little too small, and then I have a 6x thermal top that you know fits just a little long. So I'm good there. Right. I got a few extra socks and I got a few extra t-shirts, so I'm I'm pretty good shape there. Lynn also said that um, that the people wanted to buy your shoes or something like that. How do you, are you do you have your regular shoes with you? Yeah, you know them bright pink Nikes. Right. Shit, but I get offers, Randy. I don't know why, but I get offers. Not pretty much now in the dorm 
you know, they don't it, around here. It isn't as frequent, but if I go out somewhere, shit, I get an offer. Anybody sees my shoes, they man say, you want to sell them shoes for some candy? Or if the if the, if the, the guards are around, that's what they say. If, if the guards are on around, well, it would amaze you the trade system in here, and it would amaze you how innovative these folks are and resourceful with so little. Mm. I'll have to tell you about it later, not when I'm I'm on the phone recording, because I know they listen to every single phone call I make. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I've I've never thought about that or (laughs) conceived of that. You know, you see it in the movies, but you don't don't ever know if that's true. Yeah, I've got a lot of stories to tell you all when I get out of here. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, one other thing Lynn said, if you let us know what books you want, we can actually send those and donate them to the, you know, the library or whatever it's called where they have your books, and then is and then you'll have them. Is that, she found out that's a fact that you can do that? That's what, yeah, that's what she told me. Because Lizzie told me that, I mean, she tried to send one, and they sent me a notice that it was contraband, but she tried to send it directly to me. Yeah, that's right. You can't send it to you, but you can donate it to the library or whatever. Is what you know what I say that is? Why? Because they take the they take the um the paper and smoke reefer. But well, you know, hell, I mean, yeah, but how come they can't get it from the library and do the same thing? I guess I guess they keep a track of it. I don't know. And then they put them in the hole if the book comes back with missing pages. I don't know. I haven't been able to go to the library. I got gotcha. you. So where does this guy get the books from? I mean... I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. I don't know. Well... But yeah. it amazes you, the people that have been here a really long time, it'll amaze you the stuff that they have. You know? Right. right. That's interesting, man. Well, think about whatever books, and we'll figure out how to get them donated. You know, and everybody else can use them, too, but that's all right, you know? You, you know, it's just like getting a book. Once you're done with it, you, you usually give it to the library anyway. So. That's right. I ain't got no problem with that. So, um, yeah. all right, well, yeah, we'll s- I'm going to try to call you all tomorrow around 2 or 3, or 2, two o'clock or so. Yeah, call, just call around, to, or is that the time that you'll be able to call, or that's when you're just trying to figure out when's a good time for us? I don't know whether I'll be able to or not. Um, yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, we're supposed to eat around 12.30, Somewhere in that range, so anywhere from you know anywhere from twelve on should be uh, good. You know. I'm not to interrupt dinner, but I'll try to call by. No, I'm telling you to call. No, I'm telling you you when you call when we're all together is what I'm trying to say, and and during dinner would be a good time. Ten for. Yeah, that would be that would be very good. Hey, but one other thing, I haven't seen any missed calls. I saw a missed call from you. I never heard the phone ring. Never nothing at all. But like a few minutes before you called, there was a a call of a voicemail. But I haven't seen any other voicemails or or missed calls from a one eight hundred number like that. I called you this morning. Um, Just like shortly before you called me. I called you this morning earlier. Then I called you right before. Like then I called. Then the, I called you this morning, and. It sounded like, um, you know, it says the person is, if it rings a long time and then says they answered, it's usually an answer machine. And then it'll say for a little while, it's an answer machine. And then I called you again right before we talked. And and when I missed you, I called um, Buster, and he didn't answer. Then I called John, and he answered. Hey, Buster. So, so this is what's weird. I'm looking at my calls from today. Uh-huh. I don't have any calls from you for today, except I do have one at 12:15, and then uh, and then we obviously got on this phone call, you know. But um, how about you know, 15 minutes or, later? Can't remember if it was Monday night or. Tuesday. You have one minute remaining. Well. I said we got one minute, so I'll I'll try to call y'all yeah. tomorrow, okay? 
appreciate it. And that sounds good, Bo. Look for it. Hey, and try to call us when we're all together if you have that option. I will. All right, buddy. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, love you. Love you. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Tell what you doing? Hey, we are actually just wrapping up uh, Just wrapping up dinner. Oh, good. I caught you when you with everybody else. Well, no, not right now, no. We actually just walked out. Um, and we were separated into two tables, so the only people leaving are me, Libby, and Bird, and Kennedy and Luke, and the rest of the people are finishing up, and we're going to the to the boat. You guys gonna go riding? No, I don't think. I mean, I don't think anyone can drive it. <laughs> I bet Bird can. I don't know, man. I mean, it's it's tucked into that Charleston marina. I mean, it's, are you with Libby and Bird now? No, not. I'm waiting for him to walk out. I I came outside. To take this call. All right, well, um, but I don't know right. if I'm going to have time to set up. Do you think you can tell Grandma and Papa, too? Do you think they care if I call them? Um, Dad, I, I don't think right now is the time to do it. I mean, they're eating dinner, and I, I'm not sure that they could be able to set it up right there. So, I'm talking about later. Do you think you can tell them how to do it? Like later today or later is in like a different day? Anytime I call them, I just, I, I, I haven't called them because I didn't think they'd set it up. You think you can explain how to set it up? Do you think they um, want I mean, me to call them or not? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can, I can ask them and ask them if they'd be willing to set up the account. All right, find out for me because I can't stay on the phone but a minute. When are you leaving to go back to um, Greenville? A couple hours. I'm going to go hang out with everybody and whatnot, and then I'm going to be Headed back down. All right. Did Grandma and them get my letter? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I know that they did. And Mary and Bart did too. Well, I don't think they got it because I think didn't you send them all to Grandma's house? Yeah. So I think she just brought them today. So I don't think any of them have have seen them. I got you. I got you. Like I mean, Grandma and Papa haven't been here this whole time. Like they they literally drove from Somerville to this. Country club, and now that. Right. Will you tell everybody I said hello and um, happy Thanksgiving? Yeah. Are you, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Are they okay? Yeah, appear to be. You promise you'll tell them I said happy Thanksgiving? Yes. All right. Please don't forget. All right. Promise. Yeah, I promise. I mean, tell all of them, okay? I will. All right. I'll, I'll call you later. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? We doing all right. Y'all doing all right. Mama? No, no, we left uh, all but we were hoping we could call while we were all there. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't, so I just, I, I, I took like a minute and a half to call Buster, and then I called y'all. Did you uh, talk to Buster? Yeah, briefly I did. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, I just, now I'm back in at Greenfield, me and Marvin and I are the only ones here getting dressed. So, where are you going? We're going to meet Randy in town, and we're going to ride up and hunt with him this afternoon, he and Alan. And, Y'all going and, deer hunt? Um, yeah, we're going to sit for deer. In Allendale? Yeah. 10-4. All right. That's right. Uh, I just everything good you, there? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I just want to tell you, happy Thanksgiving, and um, I'll, um, well, I'll catch up with you. And I, I told Eileen um, that I told to you she asked about you. A lot of people asked about you yesterday when I went to that funeral, and every one of them said to give you hugs and love, and, and everybody's pulling for you. Good a lot of, lot of people offering support. I mean, lots of people. Good deal. Did, um, did Lizzie get flowers out? Yes, he's there now. She's, she went to the cemetery now. That's where she went. Right, I'm going to call her. Okay, yeah, you'll probably, if you get a call right now, you'll probably get her while she's there. All right, bye. Love you. Okay, bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Hey, Lizzie. 
Happy Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you? I'm good. I guess where I am. Your mom and told me. And I actually was writing your letter. What's that? I just sat down to write your letter. I'm out at the um, cemetery. I brought, brought some um, poinsettias and um, do you know what a Christmas calalinchi is? Yeah. Did you tell Grandma got, that we were putting flowers out there? Yes, I did. I talked to her yesterday for a while and told her. And she said that she had appreciated your letter. Good. How are they doing? Um, I think they're doing pretty well. Um, you know, I guess they just wanted to do something different this year, so they were going to that country club. Um, and I think, have you talked to Buster? I think he might be on his way back. Yeah, well, he's not on his way back yet. He, I, I talked to him real briefly, so, um, as I don't have much phone time. But I'll have some more phone time later today. I just wanted to thank you, and I'll talk to you later today, okay? Okay, well, real fast, was the meal okay? Was it better than normal? What now? Was your Thanksgiving meal better than normal? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was better than normal, for sure. Okay. Everybody in here selling the trays and trying to sell them, make money, and I mean it's the damnedest thing you've ever seen. These fools. Did Buster share the stuff in the letter with you? No, uh, uh-uh. he get but him, he get, wasn't there. He wasn't him, there when I get him, get him to tell you all the stuff. And um, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Just wanted to tell you thank you and happy Thanksgiving. And, and I, I should be able to call later tonight. Okay, we'll do that, and um, we'll all be together. I appreciate you. Love you. Okay, I love you. We miss you. Hey. Hey, Alex. I'm sorry. I hey, y'all. <laughs> y'all were all there. Are you still at Mama's? I, we're still at Mama's. It's me and Mary Elizabeth and Christy, and Christy walked outside. I'm not sure where she went. Hey, Uncle Alex. Hey, darling. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. Y'all doing okay? Yes, sir. How about you? Doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm well, all I, things I considered. huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think I probably you're serving a turkey for you. <laughs> we that you again? I said I think I ate your serving a turkey for you. No, well, that's good. They actually <laughs> gave us the first time since I've been here something half decent to eat. Well, that's good. So that was good. Recognizing it's a holiday, I guess. That's a good thing. Look here, I'm glad. I, I can't I can't stay on the phone but just a second. Um, I imagine everybody wants to call their family too, so well, uh, well we we I, will call I, I might have some more time later today. Hey, hey um uh, is, Bar- is, is Mama near the phone? Um she is not, but I can walk back there to t- let you talk to her. Hey, how about Barbara? Is she there? No, Barbara's not here. Hey, Mama, I got Alex on the phone. Okay, Alex, go ahead. Hey, Mama. Oh, you got to listen right there. Just don't hold it. Just hold it out in front of you. Can you say, hey? Hey, Mama. Hey, hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. This, this is Alex. How you doing? I'm good. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. All right. Yeah. I, I wish I could be yeah. out to you soon, okay? Okay, when you get a chance, a chance, a chance, a chance. Uh, all right. I, I love you. I'll see you soon. All right. We love you, Alex. All right. Y'all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you, Uncle Alex. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. How you doing? I got your speakerphone with Alan and Reeves and Mills and uh, Mills' boyfriend, Matt. Hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello. We missed you earlier. Yeah, I know I couldn't call then. I, this is the first time I could call. And, um, well, that's okay. no problem at all. So, I just talked to Buster a few minutes ago. Wish him happy Thanksgiving. He's doing well. Yeah, I talked to him. Um, I, I called him before I called y'all, and then... Um, then I, ch- I talked to um, Lynn and Mary Elizabeth, and then I talked to John and Lizzie for a second. 
I got I hear you. y'all are going to Allendale. We're waiting on John Marvin to pull up so we can head out. Yep. Well, good. We were hoping Buster was going to go with us, but um, but he's still down in Charleston, obviously. Yeah, he's not going to be back for, I don't he's think he's good. leaving for a couple hours. I think he's going over to hang out on Bart's new boat for a minute. And um, I asked him if they were going to go riding, and Buster said nobody knows how to drive it. <laughs> hey, but I don't believe I would be experimenting either. No, I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's one thing to drive it. It's another thing to dock it, you know? That's exactly right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be docking it or taking it out without the damn captain there, and he ain't there. So. Well, good luck, Hunt. I can't stand on the phone um, right now, but maybe I, 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 I should be able to call you all later. Um, later yeah, good night. So I hope you all have good luck. It's good to he talk to all of you all. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Hey. You, know what? hey. you on the road? No, I, I just got back to Greenfield. John and them back? No, John and them aren't back yet, but um, Liz and her parents and the lives of Grace and Randolph are here. <laughs> Tell them hello. Okay. Did you have fun on the boat? Was that your first time on the boat? No, I've been on the boat. When have yeah, you been on it? Third, third or fourth time today. When did you go on it? Oh, went on it last week. I've just been on it before. Have you, have you ridden on it? No, I haven't ridden anywhere on it. The Saturday you ride on it? Yeah. Ten for But, um, honestly speaking, do you think um, Grandma and them would rather not talk to me while I'm in here? Probably well, yeah, I, think I, I, do. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get the opportunity to really talk to him about it because we were all shoved in that bay and Grandma was messing with the baby, so I was just going to call and, and ask him about it. But, I mean, I'm sure that they – I don't think they have a problem talking to you. I'm just concerned about their ability to actually register the account using a mobile phone. What about any of the proctors? you think they'd rather not talk to me? I don't know. I can ask them, too, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. All right, well – I mean, I want to know the truth. I mean, if they ain't ready to talk to me, I don't want to call them. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, Dad. It's not like I sit down and, and you know, talk to them, to them about it. So I don't really know their position. Well, can you or not? Are you not comfortable doing mm-hmm. that? No, I can. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, you're, you're just going to say, give me a minute when I see them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to call them up right now and talk about it. No, I understand that. I don't expect you to. But yeah, I mean, I can I can mention it over the weekend to see if people do or don't want to do that. All right, that's a deal. That's a deal. All right, so y'all just kind of laying low tonight? Yeah, yeah. We're sitting here having a few drinks, build a fire. I think we're going dove hunting in the morning. Where? Uh, Ricky's. Good. We'll go have fun. Mm-hmm. Cowboys are losing right now. Yeah, I know. I've got it on. It's, I took the Cowboys and given seven points. I got you. We got a board where today's games, the Bears and the Lions, I won that game. I took the Lions given, getting three. Right. I covered by one. I took the Cowboys given seven. And they, they're looking very good. And then... I took the – who plays the Bills and who tonight? I don't know. No. All right, well, you go have fun. I love you. Tell them about right, that. Hey. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, bud. Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm in Brooklyn's uh, condo. i get one in a minute. Oh, yeah? You yep. stayed there last night? I did. Well, good. How's she doing? She's good. Did she have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah. Well, good. Tell me about the fishing trip. Um, it was good. How many did y'all catch? We caught, caught a sailfish and a couple tuna. Black fin? Yeah. No wahoo? No, no wahoo. 
But, I mean, when you're fishing on a boat like that, it don't, I mean, even if you ain't catching nothing, you, you, you're you doing pretty good, ain't you? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was good. You know, I just had football on and cooking food and all kind of stuff. How big a sailfish? Um, it was actually a pretty big one for an Atlantic sailfish. It was probably about 60, 70 pounds. Well, that's nice. Who caught it? Um... Fart reeled it in. Did y'all know it was a sail right away? Yeah, as soon as, as soon as it set the hook, it took off out of the water. It, did it put on a good show? No, it just jumped once, went straight down. Really? Y'all, did, now when you did the tuna, did y'all find schools or they just kind of bit arbitrarily? Mm, there were schools, but we only ended up with two of them. Um, were there any other boats out there? Yeah, we saw some other boats, and we knew, or they knew of some others that went off. Um, but we were in the cruise paths with one boat. So, where did y'all go? We went, we went out to the ledge about 320 feet and just fished it. So a little bit north of the Edisto Banks? Yeah. I got you. How long did it take you to get out there? Um, like an hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30 minutes? What does that boat mm-hmm. cruise at? A lot. So it'll get up and go. It ain't no sludge. No, I mean, that boat will go 50 miles an hour. No. I swear to God. What? It's crazy. Who all went fishing? Just me, Bird Bart, their captain, and the captain's son. What's that captain's name? Roger. Yeah, Roger. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Well, good. You sound like you're a little stopped up. Um, I don't know. I hadn't been up long. Good. Hey, Buff. Not trying to bug you, babe, but you got to get that thing reset with law school. Um, I sent I sent the email to Hubbard this morning. Okay. All right. Well, good deal. Um, everything else okay? Yeah. What have you been doing? I talked to you since Thursday. Ah, uh, no. Well, no. You talked to me Friday. I did. Yeah, I thought you did when you got back to... No, 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 that's right, because it was Thursday afternoon. We were on lockdown Friday, and then... And then... uh, Saturday, I knew I couldn't get you. And then... um, Yesterday, we were out in the morning, but I was doing my exercises, and so... I didn't have time to call, and I thought we'd be out, and then we were on lockdown the rest of the day, so I didn't get the call last yesterday. Didn't far. So anyway, everything else is okay? Um, yeah, everything's fine. Going to Columbia this evening, because um, I've got to be in Charlotte for work Wednesday through Friday. So you're going to spend the night in Columbia? Yeah. Everything's good with your... Um, Apartment? Yeah, everything's fine. I told John to give you money until I get everything sorted out where I can pay him back. Ten four. Happy? Um, yeah, but I mean, I haven't really needed any money. Yeah, but you got to pay rent now. Um, well, the one time, one time I paid rent, I paid to Say tomorrow, though, so I can ask him for can money. Say that again. Say that again. One time you paid rent and what? Or, I mean, one time I paid rent, it was out of my account, but I have to pay it again tomorrow, so I can ask him for money tomorrow. Do you feel uncomfortable asking him? Mm, no, it's not uncomfortable. It's just, I mean, it's not very fair to him. Well, but I mean, I'm, he, I, I've got him keeping up with all of it, so I can pay him back. I understand. You don't worry about that. 
I mean, I've even asked him if he wanted me to do other things because there's other options, and he's absolutely, I mean, he's absolutely said, I mean, I've talked to him at length about this, so he said he's glad to do it. So don't be bashful. Okay. Okay? And, Buster, you need to get ready for this law school now, okay? I understand. I mean, you got to really buckle down, and you got to—I mean, you got to treat it like a job. You're gonna to have to read these cases two and three times if you don't fully understand them. I mean, you're gonna to have to treat it like a job. I understand. You promise? Yes. Because you know there's not gonna be another chance. I know. I mean, no way is no way, shape, or form is there going to be another chance. I understand. You do truly understand that. Yes. All right. All right. So you going to be on the road this afternoon? Yes. Yeah, right. uh, so, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to call again. I gotta. Uh, hopefully, Jim's supposed to come by and meet with him. I'm trying to get the finances straight with them, and and I gotta talk to John and see um, whether we're going to do a loan, and then I'm going to pay it back out of the account later, or we're going to have a letter from a, a, an opinion from a lawyer who does retirement accounts that rolling it over. Because, I mean, if you pay interest on something for, let's see, six years, it could end up being more than the penalty. But we got to make sure the penalty doesn't open it up to creditors. I mean, you're going right. to need that money. All right. You know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. So, all right. Well, please tell Brooklyn hello. Okay. Did you by chance talk to Grandma or Papa T? Um, I did mention it to him, and I told him that I never really got a private moment with him. I didn't want to keep talking about it in front of people, but I did mention it to him, and they said that they were that they would like to do it, but they were concerned that they wouldn't be able to figure it out via the phone. Well, and if I you think they really it. don't, if you think they really would rather wait until I get out, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I understand. Okay. What's your opinion? No, I don't have an opinion. I, I I tried to talk to him about it, but we were all aging around the entire family, and I didn't really just... You tried what budget. now? So I tried to talk to him about it, but we were never we were never not around the entire group of the family, so I didn't really feel like talking about it in front of everybody. I understand. All right. I'll, um, I'll call you this afternoon. What time do you think you'll be on the road? I don't know. I'll just try you. That's fine. Say three, four, something like that? Sure. All right. I love you. All right. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.